Yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome back to AFC and NFC Championship Weekend of Winning Picks Weekly. As always, my name is John Malika, co-host of the Knicks, Jets, etc. podcast. And of course, the Winning Picks Weekly podcast with at Winning P Weekly himself, our boy Greg Albert. What's up, man? What's up, man? Back here, Conference Championship Weekend. Very excited for this. And yeah, another episode down. There's, oh, what, two episodes left for NFL football. It's kind of scary to think about. But last weekend, <laughs> again, were some pretty good games. Like, we got great wild card weekend, pretty good divisional round. These matchups that we have are going to be absolutely top notch. So I'm very excited about these two games we got this weekend. Yeah, I mean, there's no point of even wrapping up last week. We've talked it to death. I'm so happy that there's no uh, neutral games. And let's start with the 3 o'clock, though. NFC Championship game. The two best teams in the NFC all season. Philadelphia Eagles at home at the link versus Brock Purdy. Never lost. Shout out to, to the Ball family. Never lost, bro. Undefeated. He's, he's giving Nick Foles vibes for the 49ers. Eagles minus two and a half, just under the three. Football number. What do you got, Greg? I'm riding with the public on this one. 90% of the money right now is on the Eagles. I like the Eagles. I have a future on the Eagles. I have a future on San Francisco. I'm cashing those no matter what. Riding on to the championship with those. So I'm very excited about that. Um. I like both these teams, but I really do think the Eagles are just a little bit more complete. I think Jalen Hurts looked pretty good, really good, against the Giants last week. I got a little carried away by the, a couple comments, so shout out to the commenters. I could be easily swayed one way or the other. I got swayed into the Giants. <laughs> a lot of people did get swayed into the Giants. The Eagles were ready, and they took it to them. And I think they're going to do it again this week. I think the 49ers have a lot of weapons on offense. We don't know how they travel and play in a place like the Link. There's no place really like it in the NFL. I think that Brock Purdy, if you look at their schedule, has had a pretty straightforward, easy schedule since he's started. You know, was it five weeks left in the regular season? This is a whole nother animal he's got going to Philadelphia this week. So give me the more experienced team. Give me the team. Like you were talking about it throughout the season. Jalen Hurts is not laughing, not having a good time on the bench. He's got I one thing it. on his mind. He's ready to go. It's He's all business. And, dude, two and a half points. They might be trying to trick you into taking the Eagles. The public is definitely falling for it with the Eagles. But injury reports are out. San Francisco, a bunch of people kind of popped up on there. No one's going to miss any time. But, you know, Debo's on there. See, uh, Christian McCaffrey's on there. Another big player, I'm blanking on who, is on there. The only one on Philadelphia really is Lane Johnson. <laughs> I don't know if he even has a designation. Bro, on he's the good. Everyone's team. playing. Everyone's dude, playing. He's playing. He's ready to go. I'm ready for the Eagles. I'm ready for this game. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, who do you got in this game, though? What are you thinking about San Fran and the Eagles? Are you fading the public? Are you fading me? So... You mentioned Brock Purdy hasn't played anywhere in any environments. He played in Seattle. His first game. Covered. Yeah. Covered at Vegas. Uh, did not cover at Vegas. It was plus nine and a half, but won the game. That was the only game he didn't cover. He's covered every single spread. And he's been a favorite in every single game. This one, he's not favored. Yep. So it screams take San Francisco. What do you mean? Not only are they covering their their favorites and they're covering every game, rookie, great defense. But I think for the first time since they started playing, they don't actually have an advantage, right? So he's played the Seahawks, Commanders, Raiders, Cardinals, Seahawks, Cowboys. They've had the advantage in every single game in all phases of the game. They're just a better coach team, better defense, better offensive weapons, better everything. I can't think of a single team. The Cowboys had Cowboys similar... were close, and that game was close until Dak Prescott turned it over a bunch. And and, and also that Raiders game was 37-34. Like yeah. that was a that was a crazy game. I think they meet their match. 
I think it opens up the door for Tom Brady. I think the Eagles are easily the best team in the league all year. And except for that little stretch when Jalen Hurts was out. When Jalen Hurts is in, they easily have been the best team. Yep. They have the best D-line. They have the healthy and the best O-line. I mean, they're stacked, dude. A.J. Brown's crying because he's not getting touches. They won by 50. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, it, Right now, I think that's fine. It feels like the Eagles are going to get in there. It's the link. However, I, I mentioned it before, man. Do you, there's nothing in your mind that makes you scared. Because you're saying the public's all over this, which is obvious. That's, that, that's scary. But he... The San Francisco 49ers really feel like the Nick Foles Eagles. Yeah, that's true. They definitely have those vibes with um, their quarterback coming back. One thing about San Francisco that did pop up, and I think we'll talk about it a little bit more in the Jets episode, so go check that out. I saw it was at, uh, Jimmy Garoppolo was questionable on the, or doubtful on the injury report, not going to practice this week, might practice next week before the Super Bowl. It's yeah, it's interesting. Right. It's he had an X-ray on his foot. He had, he broke his foot like six weeks ago or eight weeks ago, dude. Yeah, but it's just it's just interesting that he's there's even a possibility that he's there as a bat in a backup role. I don't know. That feels like a PR move to me. Yeah. yeah, you know he's trying real hard. He's trying so hard. He wants to go get an X-ray, bro. He's just checking his foot. He's not playing. He broke his foot two months ago. Yeah, maybe get him a little healthy so this way you can trade him in the off season. Um, yeah, it definitely has a little bit of the Nick Foles vibes, you know, quarterback coming in kind of mid season and taking over and absolutely dominating. Um, Mm -hmm. Nick Foles, I don't know. Nick Foles didn't really dominate the way Brock Purdy has, man. Brock Purdy has been something special. It was it two touchdowns and every win for his first five games, last five games of the season. Um, been really good in the playoffs last game against Dallas though. He looked a little flappable and was it nine, nine. At some point, kind of midpoint of that game, late part of that game. So, I think if you put the pressure on them, the Eagles' defense, I think, is just as good as the Dallas defense. I think the Eagles' offense is much better than the Dallas offense. And I trust, I like this Nick Sirianni coach. He's a little bit of a goofball, but... <laughs> dude, I, he, I, I don't like... I mean, I, I like the way he coaches, but he, off the field... He's a bit, he's a bit off. My <laughs> only knock on him, choices. yeah. My only knock on him that for the last two years has been sometimes he forgets to run the football. He's been yeah. remembering to run the football in the playoffs. If he forgets against the 49ers, it could come back to bite him. But I think he's he's learned to run the football and trust the run game, and this offense will open up. So, yeah, I think three three points, two and a half points, whatever it is. The line also hasn't moved a ton. It's moved maybe one point since it's opened, even though 90% of the money's on it. That hoping, worries me a little bit. Hoping that two and a half, I see. Oh, see, I see one and a half here. So it hasn't moved at all, even though 90% of the money's on it. That worries me a little bit because Vegas usually wants to move it, so it's 50-50 down the middle. And maybe they're getting a little confident, saying, dude, 49ers are going to win this game easy. We want 90% of the money on the Eagles. So that worries me a little bit. But maybe this is my sucker pick of the week. Give me the Eagles so. all day. I think I think I have to go San Francisco. It, I, I just, I definitely think San Francisco is the the sharp bet. Everything's just telling me if I'm betting this game, I have to take San Francisco. Yeah, I, I, the Eagle. It doesn't really make sense for the Eagles. First of all, they haven't been that great against the spread all year. Maybe the They've Eagles been... win by two. The only knock really on the Eagles defense all season, right, has been the run defense isn't that good. Well, guess who rolls into the link on, on was it Sunday when they're playing? Yeah, guess who rolls into the link on Sunday? Christian McCaffrey, Debo Samuel, those guys can run the freaking football. So okay. if your only weakness all season on defense has been your run stop, and you got two of the best to do it at the running back position, I would definitely be a little concerned if I was the Eagles. But, dude, it just... Philadelphia, they have some mojo going. The Phillies were making it. They were making the, the the fans were getting into it. See 76ers the other night with Embiid. That oh. place was rocking. Oh. 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 First of all, all I hear is the Philadelphia losers. They just keep making it and losing. I mean, that would be nice. Second of all, Embiid. Oh. He's a fake tough guy nonsense. Yeah. Now he's doing deep generation X suck it on the on the gra- on the floor. Dude, he's gonna start getting teed up. Anyway. Yeah. I kinda like the under too. I think that I think that Philly's gonna be stifled on uh, on offense. 
But yo, I have, I have a I have... over under just for the people listening. Forty six and a half right now. Sixty percent of the money is on the under. I'm gonna shout out to uh, I think her, I think her at Steffi Smalls or something like that. She's a big Giants fan. Okay, she tweets out picks. She alerted me to this, and I, I'm taking it. So I'm just I'm shouting her out. Shout out Steffi. Overtime. I'm taking both these games for to go to overtime. I feel like one of these games are going to go overtime. They're both like over plus thirteen hundred right now. I'm, uh, I'm 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 taking both. I'm taking one, and I'm thinking about taking the half ties. I'm thinking about just treating this like a soccer game. <laughs> I'm just I like, like that. It's going to be close, and just start taking ties. I'm taking overtimes for these games So I feel like it's going to be close. I don't. I really don't hate that. It's not a bad idea. This is like fading myself. I love the Eagles. I think the Eagles are going to go to the championship. But if, I, if I'm betting this game, I'm taking San Francisco. I'm doing the Greg. It's the playoffs. Everyone's betting these games. Yeah, 50 I mean, people are going to watch yeah, this game. Yeah, like I said, I got I, I gave up both of these um, at the start of the season. I like both these guys as division winners. I like both these guys at Super Bowl. So, Eagles 2000. Um, I'm sorry, yeah, the Eagles were 2,000 win the Super Bowl. Eagles were plus 1,000 to win the conference. 49ers were plus 750. So, chances are I could stay away, but I like the Eagles. I'll probably do some sort of same-game parlay with the Eagles. And a you should think San Francisco out. then, bro, just trying to even that out. Yeah, <laughs> I probably could. I probably could do McCaffrey, gonna San win. Fran, and someone it's gonna else. Win. Like, it's going to yeah. win. Just take them for 300, even out. Hedge it out because <laughs> San Francisco is going to win. You're going to be so, like, all right, perfect. I know. Anyway. I'm, I'm excited about it. I need some money back in this account. I earlier, speaking of a little bit of futures, I had San, I had San Francisco losing to Kansas City, and I had the Eagles losing to Kansas City. So I don't really care what goes on from the NFC side. And yeah. I also separately have a Bengals future to win the Super Bowl. So I'm covered on both sides here. Without further ado, 6.30, we're going to be talking rematch again of the Bengals at the Kansas City Chiefs. Mahomes' high ankle sprain, I mean, we saw him for four steps. Shout out to Pat McAfee show again for going through every single step, analyzing step by step yep. the other day. It looks fine, but who knows? It was literally three, it was literally four and a half steps. I think if this is a regular season, he would actually take off. But for these purposes, I'm going to say he's healthy. Yeah. He's probably doing, you know, taking measures, taking a shot, wrapping it up. Probably hasn't slept. <laughs> like he's really doing the Russell Wilson right now. Right, wakes up in the middle of the night for treatment, all that stuff. Hundred percent. Yeah, this is a big game. You know why it's a big game, Greg? Because he has never beat Joe Mc- or Joe Burrow. Exactly. And this Crazy. line, talk about line movement. This line has been all over the place because of this ankle. First, the Chiefs were favorites, then they were underdogs, and now they're back to favorites. So Vegas, I feel like for the first time, doesn't know. You know, like it was yeah. like, actually, to be honest with you, Vegas does not know <laughs> who's gonna win this game. But let me ask you a question here. It's it's basically it's basically uh even bet. Plus one, minus one, same thing. I'll just take the money line. Take a minus one, it's minus 120 Chiefs right now, and plus 102 Bengals. Uh, over under is 47 and a half has not moved that i feel like vegas knows <laughs> but but anyway is does is this going to start becoming Peyton Manning versus Tom Brady where Mahomes like Peyton Manning would dominate the regular season and then once they play each other in the playoffs he just loses I think it's yeah. I don't know. I think it's a little early for that right if now. If it happens again, if it happens again, I still think it's a little early. They played twice in the postseason. They played what once in the regular season. He's three and zero, and one of those be four and zero yeah. at Arrowhead. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean that's pretty crazy too. But both all these games really, if I remember correctly, I, I'm trying to blank on last year's championship game. Was it a high scoring game? I remember the regular season matchup leading into the playoffs was insane. It was like, I think championship weekend of fantasy football. I think it was the second to last week of the season. And I think the Bengals and chiefs just went up and down the field and scored and scored and scored. Um, it was, it was, it, Oh, it was, so again, 
if you remember, it went to overtime. So this might be the overtime hit that we, that I, <laughs> that we get. Okay. It was 27-24. Okay. And this is and this and this created the the NFL playoff overtime rules where now both teams have to get the ball literally because of this game. They said how how dare you NFL take the ball away from Pat Mahomes. So this is the fix. Even the NFL changing rules for for Peyton Manning to be Tom Brady, it feels like, but I don't want to call Cincinnati Tom Brady because they don't deserve that. They're, yeah, that's they're what I'm saying. Gonna turn, they're going to turn into the, their own version of the Bills if they if they go to the Super Bowl and lose again. It's going to be like, all right, how many times are we going to do this? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's one of those things where like everyone beats everyone, but no one's really winning. It's like weird, but it's just what's going on. Like Pat Mahomes, Pat Mahomes has what one Super Bowl? Well, because he keeps losing to Joe Burrow, he keeps running into Joe Burrow. He's got to avoid him. Someone else has to beat yeah. him. <laughs> What is, but there was man. there was another team too before then. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's it's weird. It's weird. Um, he ran into the Patriots once in the, in the postseason. That happens. That, that happens to everyone. Get, man. Get, get, get the call. The they got the big time bailout call. Um, so yeah, I mean, definitely if it keeps happening for sure, I definitely think it can be. But then, if, but then if Joe, if Joe Burrow's not winning the Super Bowl, then it's not Peyton Manning versus Tom Brady. We'll find it in another what analogy. Mean, he only it. has one. He lost one. Yeah. But I'm saying if Joe Burrow beats too, Patrick too. Mahomes every season and he goes to the Super Bowl, say, three times in a row and he doesn't win any, you can't say, oh, he's, he's, the the Tom, he's Tom Brady. Oh, he's the Bills. Yeah. <laughs> he's, just turning, he's just turning into, into, into yeah. the old school Bills. Right. Uh, it's, it's, it's just funny. It's just funny how this is working out. I mean, yeah. It's a legacy game for Pat Mahomes, in my opinion, and a legacy game for, for Burrow. If he just owns Pat Mahomes, is he the best quarterback in the league? Is he number one? He I has don't know, dude. Uh, we, we were watching the Jets clip on the Jets episode. Go check it out on the Jets channel and Nick's Jets, et cetera, on the YouTube. Podcasts available wherever podcasts are available. <laughs> and Aaron Rodgers said, right, there's two guys in the AFC who can move around and really kill you with their legs. And I was thinking two guys. I think I said it in the clip, two guys, because it's Burrow, it's Allen, and it's Mahomes. So, and then he talks specifically about Joe Burrow, about a nice pass Joe Burrow threw. So, who's the other guy? Is it Pat Mahomes and he's leaving out Allen? Is it Allen and he's leaving out Pat Mahomes? Like, who's being left out of this conversation? I definitely I think it seems like Joe Burrow's definitely the the top guy in the AFC, especially if he wins this game. I definitely think he's the best quarterback in the league. All right. It's a legacy game. Who you got? The Bengals. Let's go. I got the Bengals. Dude, Pat Mahomes, even at 80%, even if it was 100%, I just think the Bengals just have this thing going where I don't know what happens. Everyone starts talking about Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow, and it takes so much pressure off everyone else. Their defense is unbelievable. I know. Child Jesse Bates, dude. He's so good. (laughs) Jesse Bates is good. Eli Apple is talking trash all over the internet, and it's freaking Eli Apple. But he happens to be on this me. defense. That's an issue for me. He, the Eli Apple part of it makes me not really like the Bengals. Like, well, yeah. Zach Taylor's cool. But, dude, was it Trey Hendricks and uh, Sam yeah. Hubbard? Their mm-hmm. DNs? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I remember when we Trey saw... Hendrickson sucked. We shouldn't sign Trey Hendrickson because he can't get sacks. Oh, I remember that, yeah. <laughs> but then, then he runs one back for 99 yards against the Ravens in the playoffs. Like, it, Joe Burrow just takes so much pressure off everyone. He just seems such so down to earth, so relaxed. Now with Kansas City, you have the Mahomes injury. So many people are talking about that. Dude, I really do think there's – the Chiefs' kryptonite is going to be their lack of weapons on offense. Pacero's good out of the backfield. He looked pretty good last week. And it's 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 the Travis Kelsey show. And for some That's reason, all. people can't figure out how to cover Travis Kelsey. I think the Bengals figure it out. Yeah, they have figured it out to the, for the most part. But I think Tony, this is a Tony game because Mahomes, this ankle stuff, he's going to be able to still operate out of the pocket. But the problem is he's going to be – Mostly operating out of the pocket. I don't think he's going to move around much, but that's yeah. going to he's going to have quick throws. It's going to be check downs. It's going to be Kelsey. It's going to be uh, Tony. I think, or it's going to be lobs up to Juju. It's going to be a good game, man. I'm not going to be shocked either way. It's a tough one. 
I'm gonna take overtime. I'm gonna take the tie. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna treat this like a like an important soccer game where it's always a tie. It's always overtime because everyone just plays kind of tight. It's a legacy game for both of them. Yeah. So who you got on the side? I really. My X factor is Chris Jones. Has the problem much. is Greg. The problem is. At what point am I gonna fix myself? I've been saying it for, I feel like, eight playoff games now for the Bengals. I've been saying the same thing. Dude, the offensive line, just, they're injured. They stink. Dude, the offensive line for the Bengals, they just, they stink. I don't know what to say. I I have to take the other side. Yeah. And then what happens? They win. Final flip in the Super Bowl, they lose. Because I'm like, oh, they're healthy. They finally are healthy. So I'm just... I'm just going to take it again. I'm just going to roll with it again. I'm just going to listen to myself. And my, what did I learn? That's what I learned. I learned I got to trust them. We'll figure it out in the Super Bowl. But I think the Bengals are just going to own Mahomes, and that's going to be the story of the year. Yeah. They, do Bengals, they have weapons? I, I know I took San Francisco, but I still think the Eagles are going to win somehow. I don't know how that is. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to be that's close. Reason, that's with, the, with the two and a half point spread, that's a that's – a, Mighty fine razor thin edge you're trying to pick right there if you think the Eagles are gonna win, but San Fran's gonna cover. So I might just find Eagles to win by one by one to three. <laughs> yeah. like, I can find that margin. Eagles to win by one, Eagles to win by two, and try to just hit that for plus a lot. <laughs> yeah, because I I, I I I cannot imagine that the Eagles are in the Super Bowl this year. All right, so I got the Eagles. You have San Fran in the first game. Then we both have the Bengals in the second game. Let's get on to – I don't have any teasers. If you want to tease two things, for me, I liked, to your point earlier, the unders, teasing those. The overs hit in the first week, the, the wild card round. The unders hit last week big time in the divisional round. To your point, I think it's, I think it's close. I think it's tight. I think these teams do bring out everything. So the defense shows out. If I'm going to pick anything, I would probably tease both unders in this game. Um, I'll give you, I'll give you a teaser, Greg. You want a teaser? Sure. Here's a teaser: Goddard first touchdown, Debo anytime touchdown, AJ Brown anytime touchdown, Eagles money line, Kelsey first touchdown, Jamar Chase anytime touchdown. That's plus two hundred thirty thousand. That's a so ha- that's a hail mary parlay, John. It's the next segment we're doing. No, no, that's a teaser because 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 that's gonna come all the way down to <laughs> just like you're gonna have everything except for a Kelsey first touchdown. You're gonna have everything in the Eagles game. Jamar's gonna get it, and you're gonna be like, I can't believe Kelsey was the second touchdown, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's like that's that that's that that's that teaser. Right yeah, there. teaser. I like that. Like I said both games on the under. If you do a four point teaser, it's plus one ten. So you're a little bit on the plus money side. It's San Francisco under 50 and a half, Kansas City under 51 and a half. So you're just hoping for under 50 points in each game. I think that's doable. Give me 24, 27 in both. And you lose by one. So never mind. 21, 24. Um, All right, what's Hail Mary? Hail Mary parlay for me is looking ahead a little bit. You can go to the Super Bowl section now and look at the Super Bowl bets. And like I said, I like the Eagles and I like the Bengals, so why not double down on it? This is what I might be doing instead of actually betting the game to get me a little bit more juice. Give me the Cincinnati Bengals to beat the Eagles at plus 550, and then give me the Eagles to beat the Bengals at plus 550. $100 on each, you're winning 550 if one of those hits. So you're winning $450 because your other $100 bet will lose. That's not bad. $200 bet to win $450. I'll take that. So that's I'm my. Right I'm upset right now because my cheese head is out of arm's reach. Oh. But my hail mary parlay has nothing to do with this Super Bowl. I love it. But it has, some, in fact, something to do with next year's Super Bowl. The odds have already dropped, Greg. If you're listening, you're too late. <laughs> yep. Drop from plus thirty five hundred already down to plus three thousand. That's almost in half from what it was last year. All we did was <laughs> sign Nate Hackett. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> as OC and Keith Carter as O-line coach. We don't even have a wide receivers coach yet. We don't have a quarterback yet. 
but I I wish I had my cheese head right now. I see it, but it's off. It's too. It's out of arm's reach. Yep. I'm taking that right now. I'm locking that in. That's my Hail Mary. It's finally going to pay off, Greg. Looking for those hotel rooms in Vegas right now for February of 2024. Let's get it. That's my Hail Mary, baby. Jets to win the Super Bowl in 2024. I love it. Like you said, we're the odds on favorite for Rodgers. We're the odds on favorite in Vegas for Lamar. We got to land one or two of those guys, and I like our shot at the Super Bowl. But we were also the odds on favorite for Deshaun Watson. Yeah, doesn't always work, but we got two guys this season. We got two guys this <laughs> offseason. And we're not trading three picks and giving the biggest, most ridiculous contract in all of Super Bowl or NFL history. Facts. Facts. All right. all right. Wraps it up. I don't think we need a wrap in wrap up today. No. I think we're good. All right. Next week we'll get the props. Next week we're off. Following week we're back for the Super Bowl, our final episode. We will be doing props. We will be doing a lot of props. So get ready for the overs and the unders, the coin flips, the Gatorades, deep research like we do every season for the for the, for the big game because the big game bets are some of the best bets all season long. Facts. All right. You know what to do. Like and subscribe on our YouTube. Next coming Jets coming ETC period. We're also on Apple, Spotify, Amazon, Alexa, Stitcher, Google Play. You name it. We are there. Peace out. Let's go Jets. Bring me number 12.